Hey everybody, welcome to Bitching and Praying. Now I'm in Walmart. It's the weekend before Christmas. And I hope you can hear me. I may not be talking a lot. Um, heading down the main part there. I got the next to the last cart. So there probably is quite a few people here. But I may not be in the sections that they're in. I'm going to be trying to avoid where there are a lot of people. As usual. Okay, these are in the wrong place. Okay. I thought that was way, way, way cheap. I try not to touch this stuff, but I'm just going to wipe this cart down. And if I get cut off on this, please give this a like and a share and a subscribe. Sometime when I set it in my purse, it cuts off. Like I said, this is Bitchin' and Prayin'. And I'm sure glad you're joining us. And I hope you're having a good Christmas season. The best you can make of it. I hope your family's staying safe and healthy. Some of these things that are usually a little bit more expensive are marked down. Those are nice. I like the card shufflers. We have one though. Try not to buy stuff that people aren't going to use or that's going to be thrown away in a month. Okay. I'm heading over here by the pets where I have to go. I'm running into a lot of people without masks on. So I'm staying clear. That's just my prerogative and my opinion. I'm staying clear that everybody has their own opinion on that. And that is mine. We are looking for... Oh, shoot. Wrong aisle. I'm looking for guinea pig shoes. For my grand guinea pig. Dog toys. I don't know, maybe it's, let's see, might be, nope, back we go, not a ton of people over here, let's go down here and look, here's fish stuff. Here's bird stuff. That's cat stuff. Seems like they would have. Here's gerbil stuff, ferret stuff, guinea pig stuff. Here's wood shoes back there. We can get to the. Put this to the side. There we go. And this is what she's going to get. All right. And I'll put you on hold for a minute. All right. Now we're heading more over towards the food where it will probably get busier. They got candy. Um, I'm looking for sugar-free pudding, and you guys are probably seeing it, and I'm probably not. Huh? No. Oh wait, it's sugar-free. For some reason, I don't want vanilla. I don't know why. 
Um, I'll just skip it. All right. We're just going to keep going. I'm looking for that um, popcorn that comes in like a pop-up box. You know what I'm talking about? Get that. And of course, we don't have it. I do want one of these. Remember the old Jiffy Pop? I'm getting one of those. I love those. They do not have the thing I'm looking for, darn it. All right, well, skip that. Darn it. All right, we're heading back. I have different voices, many different voices. <laughs> Darn it, voice. And, um, all right. We're heading back here to get Cheese sticks. Cheese sticks. They have the best deal on cheese sticks. Even better than Sam's Club. Let me see how much their butter was. I bought butter. No, I bought butter here. Never mind. I was going to see if it was better than Aldi's. And I went to Aldi's and forgot to look. All right, we're cutting over here to cheese sticks. And they're probably going to be out of them. Nope, they're not. And I think I wasn't going to get that big a one, but dang, that's all they got. Did I get this great big one? I didn't think I did. Oh, maybe I do. I guess I do now. It is the one I usually get. I want to make sure I don't get the reduced fat. They taste different. So I got the regular. It's a little moisture, but they're all that part skin. Yeah. Great value. No, it's not. Wait, what's the difference there? The reduced fat are more expensive. So I got the regular. Okay. So we got that. And we're looking for cashews. So press pause. All right, since I'm going down here, here's their cleaning aisle. Most of the stores are really well stacked right now. Everyone I've been in lately, I mean, there's some empty spots. But I just want to say that they're pretty well stocked. That makes me feel good. That does not mean not keep your prepper pantry topped off. Because remember, they were very well stocked right before the first close down. It can, in the blink of an eye, they can be emptied. Keep them topped off. Move your first things you buy forward. Rotate, rotate, rotate. This here continually is like this. So keep moving things forward and buying when you see things like that. Please. Oh, here's the nuts. I was going to get... Oh, no. That wasn't what I was going to get. What was I going to get? Whoops. All right. Okay, just double checking that cheese because there was a couple different prices and I've had it ring up wrong before. And if it does, there's a scanner bounty in Battle or Battle Creek, yeah, because when I've been, that's where one of the Walmart says I go in Michigan, where they have to give you the difference 
10 times the difference plus the difference. But some stores want to fight you on it. So usually it's easier to check it and tell them at checkout. Unless you feel like fighting at the courtesy desk, which sometimes I will. But and it's only up to $5. They only have to give you up to $5 back. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to press pause again. I'm getting in the checkout. This is Bitchin' and Prayin'. And please give us a like, a share, and a subscribe in case this cuts out of me when I put you in my purse. Like I say, I hope your holiday season is going great.